Hey guys, welcome to the basement Dino Dungeon. Okay, so today we are going to do 33 different dinosaur species. Okay, 33 different ones. And check this out. We have actually received a very nice fan mail, and Nathan has actually illustrated the 33 different dinosaurs over here. So we will take a look at every single one of them. I also have a special unboxing to do. It's actually a Godzilla vs Kong set right here, which I'm pretty excited about. So let's begin. Alright guys, so let's begin our 33 different dinosaur species, okay? By taking a look at the first one right here, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, okay? So this illustration is actually sent to us by a dinosaur by the name of Nathan, whose birthday is actually in mid-August. Just want to say a huge happy birthday to Nathan. I just received your letter, okay? I'll be sending you a letter very soon, okay? So first figure right here is actually the Ambush Pack Tyrannosaurus Rex. It looks really, really cool. So you can see it actually has some stripes on his body, but I feel this figure should contain more detailing and stripes across the entire body. I think that will look even better. So for each species, I'll be showing you guys at least three different figures, okay? The second one will be the Hunt and Chomp Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is from the Dino Tracker series. Um, this is actually, you know, unfortunately, this little belt right here, it's broken. So it's kind of like loose for me, but it's fine. It's still working. So this is the Hunt and Chomp, one of the latest Tyrannosaurus Rex figure out there. Okay, very beautiful one. I'm just gonna put this one right here. I'm gonna adjust this as we will need to take a very nice thumbnail. We will still need to have one more. I have brought this, guys. Okay, I've actually brought a lot of Tyrannosaurus Rex. I've brought two more figures. So this is actually from the um, 30th Anniversary set captive collection and this one is actually from takara tomi arts do you guys remember which scene is this tyrannosaurus rex stamping on a dinosaur which seems to be a conotaurus do you guys do remember which scene it is you know which scene this was actually from which movie okay make a guess it's actually from fallen kingdom yeah that's right so basically the t-rex was stomping on the Carnotaurus. Okay, next up, let's have a look at the Indoraptor. We'll follow by this order. So, Indoraptor. Indoraptor, um, yeah, I mean, definitely we have the Track and Attack Indoraptor, which is one of my most favorite ones. It is also from the Dino Tracker series. Let me just turn off the lights, press the button. Do you guys know we can actually move the arms? Initially, when I got this figure, I actually didn't know that you can move the arms to open its jaw. So I was thinking, you know, why is this figure so... Oh dear, I, I think we have put it in the wrong way. I think we should put it this way. Yep, right? I mean, the Tyrannosaurus Rex should be on the Tyrannosaurus Rex side. I think, I think this way will look way better. We need to arrange them as neatly as possible because I'm going to use this as a thumbnail. The thumbnail needs to be really good. Okay. How does it look? I think it looks pretty good so far. So Indoraptor, which is a hybrid of Indominus Rex and T-Rex. We still need to pick up two more Indom Indoraptor figures. Right here, guys. So I've brought two. Okay, this one has got to be, we have, we got to switch the position around. So this is actually the cup topper. I'll put this one right here. And this is the captive collection Indoraptor. Beautiful one. Okay, we'll go maybe right here before we unbox this Godzilla vs Kong set. I think this one looks really, really cool. It actually comes with um, two huge figures. Very. I think it comes with four figures. I'm pretty excited to see this. Okay, next we take a look at the Diablo Ceratops. I think we should have it. Where is our Diablo Ceratops? It's right here. Okay, for the Diablo Ceratops, we only have one figure. So this is basically from the um, Wow Raw. Wow Raw figure. So you can see the crest is really huge and it has like one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, seven horns. Seven horns. For Diablo Ceratops, unfortunately, we only have one figure, but that's fine. Let's move on to the next one, which is the Regali Ceratops. I think this drawings from Nathan is just looking fantastic. I really love it. You know, hopefully, Nathan, you are feeling better. I will send you a surprise really soon. Stay tuned. I just received a letter, um, you know, like yesterday. Hopefully, it's still in time for your birthday. But I think once my letter reach you, is it's gonna be at least September. But it's okay. Hopefully, you're watching this video, okay? So next one will actually be Regalia Ceratops. So if you guys want to send me any fan mail, it's possible as well. Just go on to the About Ars tab. There's an address right over there, which you can send to my P.O. box. Okay, so next one is actually the Regalia Ceratops, which is known as the Royal Horn Face. I think it's because the crown actually looks like a crown of a king. Very beautiful one. You can actually find like quills over here. So this is also from the Wow Raw series. Beautiful one. Let's move on to the next one, which is the Bister Heversaur. Bister Heversaur is actually from the Gigantic Trekkers as well. Take a look at this. Mr. Heber saw. I think among all the Daniel Trackers, it is the only one with retractable. Okay, possibly not retractable. I mean, they're just closing. You know, with closable quills. Very nice. Mr. Heber saw is actually known as the Beast. Mr. He Lizard. So I'm gonna put this on right here. We're gonna switch the positions around. Okay. Next up, Elasmosaurus. Elasmosaurus is also from the Dino Tracker series. We only have one Elasmosaurus so far. Yep, in um, I mean my Jurassic World collections, we definitely have more Elasmosaurus um, from other brands. But let's check this out. Um, among all Dino Trackers, I would say this is my most favorite one. My my favorite one of all Elasmosaurus. I think the sculpt is just incredible. And if you take a look at the detailing, it's very very cool. The color scheme is pretty, you know, it's pretty simple, but it's really, really well done, I feel. Yep. One of the best, if not the best, Elasmosaurus figure I have ever seen. So, yep, definitely. Very awesome. Next, we take a look at Scorpio Vanator. I think we only have two figures of it. So, let me just get, get them um, over here. So, we have two Scorpio Vanator right here. One, um... This is actually a Raw Striker. Raw Striker is actually my least favorite series because the legs are very, very loose. You gotta push um, the body down. Scorpio Venator, if I'm not wrong, it's actually known as the um, Scorp Scorpion Hunter, if I'm not wrong. I'm not too sure, I think so. And this is the um, another version. This is also a Raw Striker kind of like mechanism, but it's, it actually came... Um, I think it's some sort of like a promo pack. It came along with the Paris Aurora first. Sorry, Iguanodon, not Paris Aurora first. So pretty cool looking. You can see our lineup is um actually pretty impressive. Let me just try to push all of them back so that we are able to display more. But you can see 33 species is going to take up a lot of space and especially when we are displaying more than one figure. Okay. So are you guys ready to um, you know take a break from Jurassic World um, figures? Let's open this, okay? I mean, if you guys you know not interested in um, Godzilla, you can actually skip to the next section, okay? So I'm just gonna cut this open first. Okay, I know not all, all of you guys will be interested in um, you know Godzilla figures. Oh, it's actually a blind box. And we don't have every single figure. But I'm happy we actually got um, Godzilla. So it's definitely a blind box. But that's weird because it actually says um, all four types are inside. So that's very, very weird. So if you guys are not like interested in um, Godzilla, which you know I'm a, quite a huge fan of as well, you can actually um, you know skip this portion and move on to the other dinosaur species but I'm gonna show you guys like where I will be displaying this um, Godzilla later on so very nice so let's get this out so it's only one figure 
I'm quite surprised. I thought, you know, we are supposed to like get all four figures, but you know, it's really cool we actually got the one that we wanted, which is awesome. But I don't mind getting Mecha Godzilla as well. So Godzilla, I mean, to me, it looks like a dinosaur and um, it's really huge. I love the powers that um, it actually has. Have you guys like watched Godzilla before? Yeah, I, I love the movie. I love Kong vs. Godzilla. I think it was a really, really awesome movie. So, yep, you can see this part just doesn't really fit in very well. I'm using a lot of force. So, beautiful one. You can see this is basically a figure where the Godzilla seems to be, um, you know, roaring and trying to intimidate Kong. Very nice. But in the end, you guys know that um, the Godzilla actually teamed up with um, Kong to defeat the Mecha Godzilla. So, beautiful movie. I love it. Shall we just put this in the middle? Yeah, let's make it the star of today's video. I know that, um, you know, it's not Jurassic World related, but I love this figure. I mean, just take a look at the spikes on the um, top of the body. Oh, and um, the mouth. Does it come with any, you know, the power just coming out from the mouth? It doesn't seem like it. So there's only one figure. I'm kind of, I, I thought we were gonna get like a four, four mini figures, but you know, it's fine. So let's move on to, I mean, let's continue with our 33 different species. Okay, next up, what do we have right here? We have the Carnotaurus. So Carnotaurus, which is known as the meat-eating bull. Of course, I have brought one of the latest ones. This is um the um epic attack battle chomping Carnotaurus. Okay, I need to move this back. So I'm gonna put this one right here because it's really tall. I'm gonna try to move the legs to an angle such that it doesn't really cover um the huge Indoraptor face. I think this looks pretty nice. Okay. Um I brought another one. This one will go behind. This is basically the Conotaurus from the Maltar market and um, Jurassic World Dominion. Do we have one more Conotaurus? I only brought two. That's impossible. Okay, here's the other one. Yep, I've brought the um, Wild Pop-Up. Wild Pop-Up Conotaurus. Let's place this one over here. Super cute one. Okay, next up, uh, let's move on to the Oko Raptor. Oko Raptor, unfortunately, we only have one figure, which is the Little Noob. Yep, Little Noob is um the nickname I have given my figure because it has a very cute little middle toe. I think I'm the one and only person who has this figure. This is the one and only figure with a rounded toe. Oko Raptor, beautiful one. Next up, we have another standalone figure, the Dryptosaurus. So Dryptosaurus, unfortunately, we only have one figure. Yeah, only one figure. And this is also a wild raw. Okay, yeah, I should have like shown you guys all the codes so that you, you can actually scan them. But it's fine. I mean, if you guys want to scan this, you can pause the video and scan this. It's actually pretty easy to find all the codes uh, online, by the way. Okay, gonna move the camera back. Somehow it looks kind of um, messy, but it's fine. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is the two pen dactylus. Oh dear, I should have brought um, you know the mini two pen dactylus because I know that um, um, we have a mini figure of it. So two pen dactylus is actually a prehistoric flying reptile. It has a very huge crest. You can actually pause the video and scan this. Yeah, it has, it has a huge crest like um. Um, what is that? Uh, Tappy Jara. Oh my goodness, my memory is failing me. Alephasaurus, guys. Alephasaurus. Okay, we don't have three different ones, but we have three similar ones. I'm gonna put the um, so this is actually from the Danger Pack. It's a very nice figure, to be honest. I'm gonna put this one right here. Okay, Alephasaurus. We have um three of them. I actually have um I actually have a few more in their in the packaging. So yeah, I wanted to form like a pack. 
here's another one so very nice i mean if you guys want to scan the code just pause the video and scan it okay next up let's see i think the next one should be the Raptor, if i'm not wrong let's see oh no it's actually a um herbivore which is a nijasaurus nice nijasaurus is actually um what do you call nijasaurus nijasaurus is actually known as the niger lizard so beautiful sauropod right here i would say this is an armored sauropod it has plenty of um spikes and thorns on his body and this is a uh, wild raw nijasaurus so I'm gonna put this one over here. Let's continue to the next one. Next will be Irritator. Irritator, yep. We should have a couple of very nice Irritators. So this one, um, it's a Wild Raw Irritator. I love the tail. It basically acts like a propeller. And you can actually scan this in your effects app. I'm gonna put this one behind. The other one I've brought a Soundstrike Irritator. Soundstrike it's another series which I'm not a huge fan of because they keep on roaring, which can be quite annoying at times. So yep, you still have one more which is um, from the Hamlin collection. Just give me a second. Well, I'll just head over here and... Um, oh, where is it guys? I'm so sorry. It is already right here. It's already right here. So this is the Irritator from the Hammond Collection. Very beautiful and gorgeous figure, I must say. Very, very gorgeous. So that's three Irritators for you guys. I mean, you guys should know that Irritators are part of the um, Spinosaurus Collection. Next, we take a look at the Gigan Spinosaurus. Gigan Spinosaurus, I think many of you guys actually do not know that. I mean, if you listen to the name, it actually sounds like a Spinosaurus. It sounds, it sounds related to Spinosaurus, but it's actually a Stegosaur. And this is from the Strike Attack. Okay, you can see it looks like a Stegosaurus, but it has more spikes. You guys may want to scan this in the effects app. Alright, now we are on to the second page. The drawings, I'm pretty sure, you know, Nathan actually took a lot of time to, you know, draw all of them so i am very very grateful i'm definitely going to keep this as a book as a, like a checklist i really love it Nothosaurus, beautiful one Nothosaurus. did i bring a Nothosaurus? yes i did thank thank goodness i actually bought i uh, actually brought it so Nothosaurus is actually a prehistoric i would say um i wouldn't say it's a marine reptile because it is it can also live on the land so yeah, we, we have actually seen this in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. It looks like a huge lizard, beautiful one. This is actually from the Danger Pack, very beautiful. Velociraptor, you know, we have seen so many raptors, so you know, I, I'm just gonna keep it really simple. I just brought blue, okay. This is actually blue of um, the Strike Attack, comes with this. So raptors, as you guys know, are very intelligent animals but you guys know that um raptors they are actually pretty small in size they are not as big as what you see in jurassic world or jurassic park here's another one i've brought this one which is a classic figure this is a very old figure i think all the way back in like 2018 2022 2018 i'm not too sure Okay, next, I think it's 2022. I just can't remember, like, I suddenly forgot when Jurassic World Dominion came up. The okay, next will be the Lophosaurus. The Lophosaurus, um, yes. Right here. I brought this one. Fierce launching the Lophosaurus. But I didn't bring the speed. This is a very big and um, nice figure, I would say. It's bigger than the. I'm just gonna put this one over here. Now this is a very nice one. I think it will look um, um I think it will look good. Okay. Alright, let's continue with our Dilophosaurus collection. Okay, so the other one is actually this, which is the um Epic Battle, I think. Yeah. Epic Battle as well. So this is actually one of the um 
um, newer ones. I'm gonna show you guys another one which I think you are familiar with, but I'm gonna bring you there. Let's go. Okay, it's kind of messy right here. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff are actually Mrs. Dan. So the other Dilophosaurus is actually the um, Gujitsu. Where is it? It's right here, guys. Yep, this is the other Dilophosaurus. One of the latest ones, so yeah, I just want to show you guys like all the latest um, figures for each species. Yep, I think mini vlogs like this is actually quite fun. Yeah, so let's head back to um, the review table. So we are done with um, the Lophosaurus. Let's attach back the camera. And now we are on to Austroraptor. Nice. Austroraptor, which is the Austro teeth. I'm not too sure what does Austroraptor means, but Raptor that definitely means teeth. Teeth as in T H I E F or Ciso, you know, basically a teeth. So we have the uh, Austro Ciso right here. I don't know what does Austro Austro actually means. So if you guys no, let me know down below, okay? So I'm trying to arrange this as neatly as possible. Okay, next up, Austroraptor, we only have one figure. I mean, we have three right here, but they are all the same one. Next, let's have a look at our manual, okay? Well, let me just put this right back. Okay, what is the next one, guys? Let's see. After Austroraptor, it's actually the, um, you know, this is actually very small in my space. Genodex series. Genodex series, of course, I have brought, you know, we only have two Genodex series, guys. Only two of them. Hopefully, you're able to get like a minifigure. So, this one is actually the Extreme Damage Genodex series. I think this is the one that, okay, no. Nathan actually, Nathan actually drew this, the yellow version, the brown version. Very nice. And this is the other version. This is the extreme damage. And this one is the strike attack. So I don't think I have space to put them right here. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to squeeze them. Squeeze them into this little space. Okay, let's see. Genodex series over here. Where's the other Genodex series? Right here. Okay, looks pretty decent. Pretty good. But we definitely need some minifigures over here. Okay, next we have the Pianiski Saurus. Yep, Pianiski Saurus. We only have one figure. Pianiskisaurus. This is a danger pack. Danger pack Pianiskisaurus. Are we able to put it right here? Seems we don't really have um, minifigures. Okay. Next will be the Shinhanosaurus. Shinhanosaurus. Shinhanosaurus, I think it's known as the Shinhans lizard, if I'm not wrong. So, yep, you can check this out. It has feathers on his body. Okay, let's see what else we've got. After that, we need to take a look at Adiphosaurus. Adiphosaurus, it's basically a prehistoric cynocete. It looks like a Dimetrodon, and this is actually a new one. So it's a strike attack. I love this figure. You can actually turn the tail, and the head will move. It looks like a Dimetrodon. It is closely related to a Dimetrodon, but it's not. And Adiphosaurus, it's not a dinosaur, as you guys know. Next up, we have the Herrerasaurus, which is known as the Herreras Lizard. Yes, yes, we should have um, the new one right here. The new one, it's the Strike Attack. Beautiful figure. I'm just gonna put this one um. You know, since we're running out of space, just gonna put this one right here. I have brought two more. Yeah, 
For the Herrera Saurus, we are pretty fortunate. We actually have two more. We have a battle damage. I love the battle damage figures, okay? It's actually my most favorite line, my most favorite series. Because you don't have to replace the batteries and um, they do have a very fun playability. And this is the other one. This is the... Um, so it was known as, you know, the new ones are known as Danger Packs and the, the older ones are known as the Attack Packs, if I'm not wrong. Or, um, there's, some, there's, there's more. Fierce, um, Fierce, can't remember. Strike Attack, Attack Packs. Yeah, Fierce Force is not. Fierce Force is basically one with um, the mechanism. Okay, very nice. I really love this setup. You know, different species of dinosaurs is really what I love to do. Okay, um, next up, we have the Matrio Can Matri Matria Canosaurus. I think, Nathan, you forgot an A over here after the T-R-I. There should be an A over here, okay? But, you know, still well done. You have spelled everything correctly. Just a slight, small little typo. It's okay, it's fine. It's totally fine. You're awesome. And here we have the Matrio Canosaurus. The latest one is basically the Hammond Collection. Yep, really, really beautiful one. We actually got, um, you know, a repaint of a, um, what, was, what was that? Ceratosaurus, level 40 Ceratosaurus using the Matriocanosaurus uh, Hammond Collection as the base to create that. Okay, I think we, 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 we have to put it over here, guys, to make it balance. Okay, just gonna... Yeah, I can't stand. Oh dear. <sighs> Why is it not standing? Okay, let's just do it the weird way. Okay, that's a metric and a sorrows. We still have a few more. I have brought the first one. The first one or um, this one, if I'm not wrong, it's actually from 2018. Come on, it was roaring just now when I took it out of the shelf. Uh, yeah, there you go. So this is, is a, quite an old figure. It's from, you know, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom period. So it's a Rory Vaw, the very first wave of a Rory Vaw. So it's from 2018. And this was this was the second wave. I can't really remember when, um, you know, it was actually released. Probably around 2019 to 2020 should be you know i'm gonna open this and see whether whether we can change the batteries and um see whether it still works hopefully it still works okay guys unfortunately i was not able to revive it i've changed the batteries but it still doesn't work i've tried to clean um, everything but it still doesn't work so yep we have to make do with a non-roaring raw revolve raw, i suppose okay i think we're running out of space so let's proceed to the next figure. So we have done the um, Herarasaurus, we've done the Matriocanosaurus, we're moving on to Prestosuchus. Prestosuchus and Charyptosaurus. Prestosuchus, yep, this is the one which is another prehistoric reptile. It's not a dinosaur as you guys know. And here is the code for you guys to scan. It's our one and only Presto Sucres. Of course, I think we do have one from like Safari LTD and stuff, but that's the only one we have for Jurassic World. The next one is basically Charyptosaurus, which is known as the Helmet Helmet Lizard. The Helmet Lizard. So this is basically the reason why, because it has a huge crest on top of the head, which makes it look like a helmet. So Charyptosaurus. This is a Hammond Collection figure. Very beautiful. We don't have one from the main line yet. Like, you know, like a Rory Vaw. I mean, not, not, a, not like a Rory Vaw. Rory Vaw is an old figure. We don't have like a Raw Striker or, you know, Wild Raw. Hopefully, we're able to get one, which which is, um you know, similar to like the Paris Rollifers or Iguanodon. Okay, next up, we are on to the last page, guys. Last page. There are. Oh, dear. Did we like miss out on the Indominus Rex? Oh, Indominus Rex is right here. We actually missed it out. It's okay. And you can see Nathan has actually painted the highlights in green, which is the um, camouflage and battle Indominus Rex. So we'll take a look at the Indominus Rex first, since, you know, 
apologize. I apologize. I sincerely apologize to you, Indominus Rex. How, how could we even forget about you? So Indominus Rex, it's not an actual dinosaur as you guys know. It is a hybrid dinosaur. So it basically has the DNA of octopus because octopus can actually camouflage. It has the DNA of Tyrannosaurus Rex. It has the DNA of Blue. Okay. It also has a DNA of a Giganotosaurus, if I'm not wrong, and some other animals. So majestic looking Indominus Rex. I love this figure. Camouflage and battle. So I mean, the green lights basically. Oh, uh, maybe be able to see the green lights if. No, you're not able to see unless I turn off. Yep. So I really love what how Nathan has painted have um, illustrated the Indominus Rex basically with green patches around the face. I love it. I love it. Okay, for the Indominus Rex, I kept it simple. I don't want to bring like huge figures because there are so many figures out there. I brought two. Okay, this is basically from Mattel. Shiny metallic soft minifigure. And this one is actually from Japan. An official Jurassic World figure. And if you take a look at the back, it actually has um, the wordings. It's so tiny. Yep, Universal Studios LLC, and this is actually a finger puppet. Okay, very beautiful. So now we can really move on to the last page. I really appreciate you, Nathan, for coming out with this list. I, I love it. I'm gonna keep this, keep this as a manual. You know, maybe. We can try to have another manual and then we can do different species. I think it's gonna be really cool. Okay, next up, let's see. We have the Yo Cockerier. Yo Cockerier. Um Yep, right here. Yo Cockerier. You can see it as a fatted dinosaur. So majority of the dinosaurs I would say are fatted. Were fatted, I would say. Were fatted. So Wow Raw, Yo Cockerier. I'm not a huge fan of the paint scheme. Because I feel the eyes actually makes it look like a clown. You know, the clown, the eyes are always just like a little stroke down the middle of the eye. So it looks like a little... I mean, it, it looks funny to me, but still an awesome figure. Okay, next up, we have the Ankylosaurus. Very nice. Ankylosaurus, I've brought, um, you know, um, this one, which is the... What is this known as? Raw Striker. Yeah, Raw Striker and Kylosaurus. I love this tail. Okay. <coughs> Take a pardon. And I've brought two mini bomb piece. I, I got to bring smaller figures because you know to bring all of this down is actually very heavy for me. So bumpy right here. So yeah, I kind of like miss Cam Cretaceous guys. Do you guys miss it? I'm not too sure whether we will have a new season. If we do, that would be fantastic because I really, really missed the series. Perhaps I can actually rewatch um, the series because there were actually plenty of episodes that I didn't really pay atten attention. So yeah, perhaps. Okay, after after the um, Ankylosaurus, we are moving on to the Concavenator. Very nice. Let's um, let's have a look. Oh dear, where's my mini concavenator figure? Did I lose it? I've actually brought it down. Okay, so this is the um, dual attack concavenator. So, comes with two buttons. This color scheme is pretty cool. I love it. And this is the, the first one. The very first concavenator. All right, next up, I'm gonna be uh, moving over to the shelf. Okay, let me let you guys see what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm gonna pluck this out of the shelf. And here you go. The last one, which is the Hammond Collection Concavenator. Beautiful one. Beautiful figure. So the fig this figure of mine is actually faulty. You're not able to close the jaw. It just sucks like this, you see? Doesn't close fully. But it's fine. You know, I love every single figure of mine. No matter, you know, whether it has um some kind of um fault or damage, I keep every single one of them. 
The last one is actually the Sino Tyrannus. Oh, I think I've missed out another one, guys. I missed out. Oh my goodness. I've missed out two many figures. I've missed out this, which is the um, Raw Attack Metric Canosaurus. I beg your pardon, guys. I shouldn't have missed it. We've also missed the um, Tronosaurus. I remember seeing the Chronosaurus in this little booklet. Let's see, where's the Chronosaurus? Oh, I am so forgetful. Chronosaurus. Did I see the Chronosaurus? I think so. I remember seeing the Chronosaurus. Yes, right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am very, very blur yep there you go chronosaurus yep i've brought it i remember very clearly i have to pick up a chronosaurus chronosaurus is basically a prehistoric not flying reptile i almost said flying reptile marine reptile and it's known as the chronos lizard um i think this figure is really awesome it's even better looking than the mosasaurus as well as the um Lyoplu rudon it is very very well detailed i think this is really really cool um yeah very nice okay so um our last figure it's actually the sino tyrannus right here sino tyrannus which is also from the dino tracker series okay yep yeah i think basically this is it guys this is it so 33 different species of dinosaurs on the shelf very awesome you know i just want to say um another huge thank you to nathan for sending me this fantastic um book as well as a letter i appreciate that i will try my best to send you a letter back as soon as possible and of course i'll not be able to meet your birthday uh, yeah, in time just want to wish you a happy birthday and for the rest of you who are interested to send me any letters please feel free to do so and um, you can send me drawings as well send me multiple drawings I'll be happy to use it as um, a guide to create a video just go on to the about us tab there's, um, there's an address right over there you can just mail it over to me it's not my home address it's basically um my p.o box address so you can send it over to to that place and yeah i'd love to hear from you soon see you guys in the next one thanks and goodbye